well, I'm sure many of you noticed that the cost of the lunch break has gone up. That's if you get one. Lunch breaks are not what they used to be. News search suggests that the global average lunch break is 35 minutes a day, with a third of workers eating lunch alone, according to Compass Group's Global Eating and Work Survey for this year. So analyzing the insights from some 35,000 workers across 26 countries, it found the length of time workers spend on their main lunch break varies considerably as you look around the world, from 54 minutes in China to a little over 20 minutes in Poland. Is the loss of time at lunch impacting global productivity and worker well-being? Well, let's talk to Compass, who did this survey. We've got Shelley Roberts joining us now, uh, Group Chief Commercial Officer at the group. A very warm welcome to the programme. Shelley is fascinating. I don't know about many watching this programme now might be thinking, goodness me, a lunch break, that's a luxury. I mean, I, I must admit, I don't take a break. Well, tell us more about your findings. Yes, well, I mean, certainly, as you say, this was one of the largest surveys and interesting to see the findings across those 26 countries, as you say, where they did diverge. What was common, though, is that the work breaks are shorter and fewer right across the working day. Um, and I think what's important about that is we know that taking a break is important from a productivity perspective, but also from a mental health and well-being perspective. So what the survey confirmed is that where employers can meet the needs of these workers, employers are coming back to the office, they are taking those breaks and employers are ending up with a happier and healthier workforce. In China, it says that they get on average 54 minute break for lunch. How long is the working day there though on average? Well, our survey um, looked right across all the different countries, and I think what came clear from the China results is that uh, they very much value the lunch break there, and it's very much part of a structured uh, break in their day. But interesting, when you look at the findings across the UK and Europe, employees are most likely there to skip a break. And actually, in fact, in the UK, employees are most likely to eat alone. And so these findings are very different across different nationalities, but they're also different across generations. Um, the Gen Zs and the Millennials are most likely to take shorter breaks, but actually in those shorter breaks, they want to use them for more things other than just refueling and recharging. They actually want the time to pursue personal interests in those breaks as well. So it's essential that employers understand the demographics in their country and in the work, their workplace and that they're responding to these demographics. Has the pandemic changed people's behaviour in terms of taking lunch breaks? Because for many, they are returning to the workplace in a, in a different way anyway. They might have a hybrid working environment where they're sometimes at home, sometimes in the office, etc. That's right. Well, this was particularly interesting because for the hybrid workers, they reported that when they're working from home, they are taking better quality breaks. And they also said that's because they're in their home comforts. And so the opportunity for employers is how do they create that comfortable experience at work? How do they create the spaces where employees can relax and recharge? Um, and eight out of 10 uh, employees in the survey said that they expect their employers to provide those facilities. But in fact, in one third of the cases, they weren't able to experience those in their workplaces. So you're right, the demand is absolutely there. And to entice employees back into the office, uh, those services and facilities needed to be provided throughout the day so that employees can break whenever and wherever they want to. Really fascinating, Shelley. Thank you for sharing your insights, what you found out in that quite wide survey across many, many countries. Shelley Roberts there from Compass Group.